let's look at a tragedy. So I'm reveling in this. So what'd you do? You just you gave it a big meal and you think it was just too much? Yeah, I think it was too much. All right, so he's done a really good job keeping it clean. So you can really, you can see. It's all full of fluid. So we have, believe it or not, that's, that's rectum. And then we have all, so this is a good candidate. I'd say we could put sugar on that and try to dry that up because he's kept this tissue very, very healthy and it, it's picking up water. Right, let's see what happens. Okay, so we're gonna take this. And if we can, this guy doesn't move. We'll just leave him there. That's one thing that's good about Blood pythons and short-tailed pythons, activity is very, very low. So if you keep this guy quiet, and the idea is that granulated dextrose is going to start pulling, kind of like a, like a desiccant. So if I take a cell phone that I've dropped in water and I put it in a bag of rice, you have something that's starving for moisture. Well, the granulated sugar is gonna starve for this moisture and we're gonna see what it does as far as having an effect on that tissue. So we'll leave this for a little bit and we'll come back to it. The sugar will only go so far. There's massive edema, so the swelling. So we can still see the rectum right here. I've gotten a lot out. So I had taken this syringe and you look for bases where it's very, very clear. And I put it in there and you know, once soaking with a uh, betadine uh, or a probo iodine solution, and of course, you know, this is a, a sterile larger gauge needle. And what I did was looked for areas where there's no vascularization, so there's no blood vessels, and I stab in there and I make a little hole, and then I use pressure. So you could probably use a syringe, but I only have so many hands right now. So I was able to kind of get the swelling out, and, and Grant, you can attest that this animal bites you and hasn't bitten me at all. And I've done this whole procedure. Comes out, so if I take, you know, this guy's making, okay, so it's under the skin, no blood vessel. When I was doing it earlier, I was getting a lot. So we're kind of at that point right now. So we, I don't want to just turn this into a pin cushion, but yeah, we're probably at that point where I've gotten all the fluid out. So at this point, I'm not gonna immediately stick it back in. Um, it's still, still pretty big. There's, all right, so I can feel right deep in there, I can still feel some stuff I didn't get to, but uh, you did really well keeping this. So this is the averted. So we'll just, I'll play with this for a minute. I'm not saying this is gonna work. Yeah, so see right there, so that, not a, not a great subject. Yeah. If you can, yeah, good luck. Most important thing is you can't have any necrotic tissue, hang on. Yeah, this is, every single time I'm gonna do this. It's gotta, it's too soon, I think. But you have to reverse it, and you have to still 
manage yeah um because this would be but as rough as this looks once you get that back into the body i mean the animal's got an immune response so we're keeping keeping it you know hydrated and you're, you're basically trying to protect this tissue but that fluid okay so Okay, so this, believe it or not, is the safest place to be if I'm that tissue, All right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're, we got, yeah, his rectum is right there. Okay, so there we go. His rectum's right there. That's good. We're, that's really good. So, let me uh, show off the snake for a sec. So pretty much the whole time, the snake sure is uncomfortable, but we're not causing massive uh, pain. Bring it over here. Landscape, yeah. All right. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna dry this guy out and we actually might, we might do okay right here. So just, so clean, dry, not a lot of space in his cage. Uh, we uh, might tape that up. And this was pretty tough. So I used a fair bit of sugar. I didn't put you guys all through that. The sugar can only go so far. So basically at some point I had to recognize that the tissue was uh, super saturated, you know, cellulitis. It was uh, not no infection, uh, just basically full of uh, fluid. So I just used a clean, large gauge syringe into uh, this really uh, liquefied or liquidy uh, engrossed tissue, and I needed to physically remove and drain that fluid so I could actually get that little thing in there. But I used in this process. It's about a four pound bag of sugar and I use two thirds of that bag and it can only go so far. And after packing the sugar into it, I did it for, oh, we'll call it a good hour and a half. I got some down. I didn't put everybody through all this because it, it, a lot of times it was just me and the snake because I kept on coming back to it and then pressing and working it. But you can see the snake, the snake uh, bites Grant and I didn't get a single bite. Hi buddy. Uh, let's see. Uh, how this little guy does. So I'm gonna have Grant take this. He's gonna keep it dry. He's gonna, uh, no water, very small container, dry and quiet. And basically what it is, we're gonna try to give this little muscle a chance to uh, get control of its cloaca and colon and all that.